City on the Neva from the book by Vladimir McGrath, Who Are We? Translated by Marianne Schwartz. At the corner of the Fontanka River's embark embankment and Neves Prospect, builders were digging a trench and an 11-year-old boy accidentally fell into it and hurt his leg. For a long time, while he was unable to walk, he sat by the window in his apartment at number 25, which is on the Fountanka River embankment. The apartment's windows, windows looked out on the courtyard, not the river. Opposite the window was a shabby brick wall and built onto it was a building with rust spots on the roof. One day, the boy asked his father, Papa, is our city considered the best in the country? Of course, the father answered his son, and one of the best in the world too. But why is it the best? What do you mean why? It has all kinds of monuments and museums, and the architecture in the city center de delights everyone. But we live in the center too, and all we see out the window is a shabby wall and a rusty roof. The wall? Well, yes. We're a little out of luck with the view from our window. Are we the only ones? There may be someone else, but for the most part, the boy photographed the view from the window of his apartment. And when he was able to go back to school, he showed the photograph to his friends. All the children in his class took picture of the view from the window of their apartments and compared photographs. The overall picture did not delight the eye. The boy and his friends, friends went to the newspaper's editor and asked him the question. He had first asked his father, why is our city considered more beautiful than others? They tried to explain to him about the Alexander Column and the Hermitage. They talk about Kazan Cathedral and the legendary Nevesk Prospect. What makes Nevesk beautiful? The boy persists with his question. I think it looks like a stone trench with flaking edges. They tried to explain to him the merits of the architect and spoke about the sculpting of the fac on the facades. They told him that the city did not have enough money yet to restore all the buildings at once, but soon it would, it would and then everyone would see how beautiful Neves was. But can a stone trench really be beautiful, even if it has renovated sculpting? Not only that, it's soon going to start peeling and someone again will fill in the holes and shore up what's falling down. The boy and his friends went from edit editorial office to editorial office, showed their now huge collection of photographs with different views and asked the same question. His persistence irritated the journalists at first. One day, a reporter for a youth newspaper told him in the hallway, you've come to see us again and you drag your fellow champions along with you and you have more and more of them. You don't like the city or the views from your windows, but can you do anything at all? We don't need you to criticize. March back to your homes, don't get in our way. An old journalist heard the stern conversation with the children too. Watching the group of children proceeding to the exit, he told the young reporter thoughtfully, you know, for some reason, their persistence reminds me of a fairy tale. A fairy tale? Which one? The reporter asked. The emperor's new clothes. And it? A boy says, 
The emperor has no clothes. The boy did not bother the newspapers with his question anymore and no longer took his many photographs out of his school bag to show them. One school year ended and another began. The news spread to all the newspapers that the boy had shown up once again, accompanied by his friends, accompanied by his friends. Admiringly, the old editor told his colleagues in the House of Journalists the story for the umpteenth time. He showed up. Yes, imagine. He got into the waiting room and not alone. A few of them sat quietly for a few hours in the waiting room, and I saw them. I warned them to talk fast, and they fit it into two minutes. They wanted and unfolded a sheet of what men on my desk. I look at their masterpiece and was speechless. I couldn't tear my eyes away. Two minutes have passed in this way because the boy told everyone Time for us to go. Our time here is run out. What's this? I exclaim as they walk out the door. He turned around, and I felt the gaze of another era on me. Yes, we still have a lot to make sense of. Yes. Well, did he say anything at all? Yes. Don't keep us waiting. Is he planning to come again? those gathered acts and the old editor replied he turned around and said our neves is before you right now it's just a drawing later the whole city will be like that and the door shut for the upteenth time the journalist leaned over the plan and admired its marvelous beauty the buildings on Neves Prospect no longer abuted one another, forming a solid stone wall. Some of the old buildings remained, and every other building was removed. And the space and the spaces formed between the buildings were magnificent green oases, birds' nests and the birches, pines and cedars. And it seemed to those looking at the picture that they could hear the singing. People sat on benches under the treetops and they were surrounded by beautiful flowering shrubs and bushes of raspberries and currants. The green oases edge out into the avenue and Neves now looked like a marvelous living green land rather than a stone trench. Many mirrors were installed in the building for cats, for kids. They reflected thousands of sunbeams, playing with the passerby, caressing the flower's petals, sparkling in the streams of the small fountains built in each green oasis. People drank water with sunbeams and smiled. And the boy left for good. He became a great architect. He and his fellow champions created the beautiful cities and settlements of the future where happy people came to live. But his first beautiful creation on earth was the city he created on the Neva.